Next up from the Forgotten Gialli Volume 3 box set is Autopsy from 1975. Uh, this movie starts really strong with a couple of really shocking scenes. Um, we're in Italy, there is a series of suicides at the start of this movie from various uh, different people. We then jump into a morgue where our main character, Simona, played by Mimsy Farmer, um, is working. She is working on the thesis of people who commit suicide trying to figure out a uh, genuine from people who are faking murders like that. The, um, there is a heat wave going on as well, so they're attributing a lot of the suicides to the heat wave um, affecting people and there's lots of sun shots in this one that are really kind of interesting and yet somehow ominous at the same time. And uh, we find that Simona's father, um, kind of rich playboy type guy, someone dies who's close to him by apparent suicide and she starts to investigate it discovering that maybe maybe someone's uh, killing these people in the form of suicide so not to be uh, have the finger pointed at them and we get a, a wonderful <laughs> an absolute one of my favorite characters i've ever seen in a giallo movie father paul lomax um, a guy who's only been a priest for a little period of time before that he was a playboy and a race car driver he is uh, swearing he's fighting he's overly aggressive um, he's unlike any other kind of priest i have ever seen on film and i really loved this part uh, of the movie having this character uh, along with uh, our main character of simona together um, it was just one of the, the great giallo tropes that I love. Two mismatched people forced together to try and discover um, what the hell is going on. There's another awesome scene, there's plenty of awesome scenes throughout this movie which I really enjoyed. At the start where Simone is working, she's been working for a period of time, the sun of course is affecting everybody and she's starting to hallucinate that all the bodies within the morgue are coming alive and kind of uh, stalking her and kind of uh, haunting her almost and it's just a wonderful visual that's really well done. Now this has a solid mystery at the heart of it as well. Something is, they give you enough breadcrumbs that you could possibly put it together um, but retrospectively it's probably just a little bit out of reach but it comes as a solid revelation at the end of the movie. Lots of uh, nice interesting kills, lots of nice red herrings to detract from who the killer possibly could be lots of uh, interesting murder sequences and a wonderful finale. The whole reveal of who the killer is, the plan that they have and how they're going to execute taking out the last couple of people right up to the end uh, scene where there is something going on that I don't want to talk about which is incredibly fun as well. Autopsy was a great deal of energy, a great giallo, wonderful performances, really full of lots of gore and bodily destruction. We spend a lot of time in the morgue and seeing these people is just horrific. We've got lots of giallo tropes in there that are just great. Um, my favourite one of these is when we follow a victim um, who bumps into someone she knows and she's like, oh hi how are you? And we never see that person and we know she's just going to turn up dead in the next scene and that happens but that's one of those tropes that I particularly love. I was really surprised by Autopsy. The score was amazing, um, the kind of mood created by shots of the sun, it's always blistering, it's always beating down on everyone, these um, atmospheric shots and then it kind of intercut with almost infrared uh, volcanic eruptions it looks like, although or maybe not, um, or something just showing craziness going on that adds to the, the effect of this sunstroke causing people to do crazy things. Autopsy was another great release from this set. Um, it's probably a better movie than Murder Mansion, although I do prefer Murder Mansion just because that's my preference. I'd love to know your thoughts on this movie. Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man V Film.